Hi guys! So, after making the unboxing of the new carbon fiber kit from Macros IT, it's time for the assembly and review of the kit. And for that, I will be using a brand new TiVo Tarantula. I will try not to make a long and boring video, and for that reason, I will not cover every single step of the assembly, because most of the parts is just a simple replacement of the old acrylic plates with the new carbon plates. I will prefer to focus on the most important parts. So I have all the tools with me, let's start. With this carbon fiber Y carriage, I recommend you to load the springs a bit more. This will increase the stability, reduce vibrations while printing, and for the guys using manual leveling, it will maintain level for a much longer time. Now this is the interesting part, the belt tension system. For this, you will need the left and right plates the ABS movable part, the included screws, the precision shims, your idlers, and the back ABS part. Check the orientation of the ABS part. You need to have the installed nut facing outwards. When you get to the point where you need to place the chimps, you will notice that it's not easy to get those in. You should also get some tweezers because they will make your job much easier. And this is how it looks like with both plates in place. Next, install the back ABS piece. Slide in the T-nuts before placing the plates. Pass the belt over the idlers and secure the plates.
Now, the screw that will stretch the belts, it's a bit small. That's because if you use a long screw and you have the assembly pushed all the way back, the screw will eventually hit the belt. So, check first the position of the assembly and use the screw with the correct length. In my case, I decided to use a washer with the tension screw to distribute the pressure along the surface of the small ABS part. Tighten the screw until you achieve the desired belt tension. Perfect! That's it! Very simple to assemble. Because the carbon plates are thinner than the stock acrylic plates, you will need to use washers together with the screws and T-nuts. And, in some cases, you need to assemble things a little differently. The Y-axis and stop screws are one example. The top screw is too close to the belt and for that reason I recommend to flip that screw so that it's facing the other side. For uh, those of you who have not enough grip on wheels, I have a video explaining how you can fix the grip issue by using paper shims. With this new tarantula, I had to do exactly that. But with the carbon plates, there is no such issue as the holes for the eccentric nuts and the distance between the wheels is smaller, allowing a much better grip and the parts will roll much better on the profiles and with zero wobble. The way this carriage was designed allows it to be installed on a metal profile and you can remove, swap, upgrade between hot end types without removing the rolling piece. And at the back side, there is also a spot where you can install a BL touch sensor. And this is the final look.
Having the belts correctly tensioned is very important and it will make a difference in your printing results. With this system, tensioning the belts is a super fast and easy procedure. Some acrylic plates should be replaced because they flex during printing. For this reason, the Z motor mount plate is one of the most important pieces. The motor itself is heavy and with all the vibrations and with the up and down movements will make that plate flex which translates in printing quality issues. These carbon plates are very stiff and they keep the Z very stable. These carbon fiber parts are very good, not only because of their stiffness properties, but also because they do not transmit vibrations like metal does. And as you know, vibrations are also responsible for printing quality issues. The new Y carriage is much lighter, with just 102 grams, which will translate in less inertia and allow faster speeds and accelerations. All the printing issues related with vibrations from the flexing acrylic Y carriage will be eliminated with this carbon one. I also love the fact that they included these T-nuts with the kit. They are much easier to work with. Makes me want to get many many more of these. There is only one plate for the Y motor side and that is easy to understand why. In fact, you only need one plate, which is the one for the motor, but don't trash the other acrylic plate. You can still use it for cosmetic purposes, to protect the gears and belt, and to perhaps secure the cables. That's why I left my acrylic one there. Well, thumbs up for this new kit from Makers IT. It's beautiful, it works, and it's perfect. I love it and I recommend it. There are many options. You can get the entire kit or just the plates you need. There is also an option for an extra Z motor mount plate and lead screw nut mount plate if you have a dual Z system. For more information on these carbon plates, just follow the link in the video description. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.